Welcome to IS3 Podcast. It's been a while since we've been on here, but I'm here with Mason Harrison from Olympus. Say hi, Mason. Hello. So uh, today we're going to be talking about the uh, my teeth story. A lot of you guys know I don't have any teeth, um, and this is a story about why I don't have any and how it, how it became a vet. Um, but before we start on that, Mason, I was reading through this, and uh, part of the bipolar disorder symptoms and causes it says in the in the mano stage in the manic stage that both manic and hyper in the hypermanic episode include three or more of these symptoms uh and the three and the very last one on here says poor decision making for example going on buying sprees uh taking sexual risk or making foolish investments so <laughs> that comes one or three because i go on shopping sprees all the time I haven't really taken a sexual risk in a while, um, but I make foolish investments like OnlyFans. But <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty well, foolish investment. But I mean, it's there. Yeah, true. <laughs> Got OnlyFans. I mean, whatever. <laughs> yeah. But, so anyway, so going back to the very very beginning of everything. Way back when I was a little tyke, when I was six years old, um, I was always getting in trouble in school and everything. And um, the school counselor, psychiatrist, whatever you want to call them, they said, "Hey, there's something wrong with your kid. You know, you should probably take him to, probably take him to a doctor or whatever. See, be like why he's having these outbursts. I'm six years old. Of course, I'm gonna fucking outburst. You know? <laughs> yeah, like that makes no sense. Yeah, exactly. And um, so. Of course, my mom did. We went to uh, we went to a psychiatrist or psychologist. I I get it mixed up. Which one? I don't I don't remember which one does what. But we went to we went to one of them, either a psychiatrist or a psychologist. I don't remember what. Probably a psychologist. Uh, and uh, after I guess a couple of evaluations, they diagnosed me with bipolar disorder. Which, uh, if I do an overview here, uh, a bipolar disorder overview is. Formerly called manic depressive illness or manic depression. It's a mental disorder that causes unusual shifts in mood, energy, activity, etc. So you can have extremely high highs. Shut up, Siri. <laughs> She's ruining it. Oh, yeah, no kidding. Um, so the more overview is uh, bipolar disorder is formerly called manic depression, blah, blah, blah. Um, when you become depressed, you may feel sad or hopeless and lose interest or pleasure in most activities uh which is true <laughs> uh and then when your mood shifts to the mana stage it is extremely high uh you feel you're phobic u p h o r i c you're phobic euphoric i don't know um what does that mean exactly uh it means full of energy full of energy or unusual unusually irritable um which you have a short you. fuse uh, this this mood swing can affect sleep, energy, activity, judgment, behavior, and ability to think clearly. Facts, man. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> the stories, I, I believe it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, man. Uh, so after all these, after all this, the some of the medication you can take is lithium citrate. It's where I, this is where the teeth begin. Is lithium citrate. Mm. Uh, for those of you that don't know, and if you're a, if you're one of the, uh, the formula guys, the formula is LI3C6H5O7. So it's lithium <laughs> citrate, C-I-T-R-A-T-E. That shit uh, does not sound friendly at it all. It does not. Wait till you, wait till you hear the ingredients, because the ingredients are fun. Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, so it says here, the lithium citrate is a chemical compound of lithium and citrate that is used to, that is used as a mood stabilizer in psychotic treatment, or, or sorry, psychiatric treatment, same thing, psychiatric treatment of medic states and bipolar disorder. Uh, there's an extensive uh, pharma, pharmacology of lithium, the active components of this salt, uh, Athena water contains various lithium salts, including uh, citrate. 
And huh. I'm not a doctor, and I don't know how they came up with these. These are a mouthful. <laughs> yeah, they are, truly. So, so pretty much it's a lithium and salt. I guess that's what this thing is. And, of course, I'm a teen. I'm a... I'm a kid, and like below teens, of course I'm never gonna brush my teeth because you you know did you brush your <laughs> teeth tonight? Yeah, let me smell your breath. No, <laughs> you know like no, every, every no, kid every kid's done that. Yeah, every every kid's <laughs> done it. You know, every kid's done it. And so this is a liquid form, by the way. And uh, so I take it twice a day. I take it. I used to take it in the morning, and I used to take it. I don't take it anymore. I haven't taken it in 15 years. But uh. uh um, I used to take it in the morning and then at night. And, of course, I I put this salt and lithium on my mouth or in my mouth, and it sat there all day throughout the day, and then I'd take it at night, and it would sit on my teeth all night long. Oh. Oh, and um, here's the more of an explanation of lithium citrate. There's a molar mass formula, Kim Spider ID, uh, main hazards, melting point, appearance, and pub Kim CID. So the formula is the uh, LI3C6H507 that I said earlier. Main hazardous or main hazards. Toxic. All right. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> so <laughs> here's the main ingredients for this. Uh, lithium bromine, lithium chloride, and lithium sulfate. Ooh. So... <laughs> Just those together don't even sound fun. Yeah, no. Um, so I did some, here's some research on here of each chemical, each main chemical that is in here. Uh, this is, this is the lithium bromite. Uh, what is, what is the use of lithium bromite? Uh, uses a 50 to 60, 50 to 60% Aquarius, A-Q-U-E-O-U-S, Equus solution, a lithium bromide is, uh, a lithium bromide is used in air conditioning systems as, uh, descent. D-E-S, D-E-S-I-C-C-A-N-T. Descent. I don't know. It's also used as a salt um, mixed with water, so that's so lithium bromide is pretty much a salt. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and then you go here to lithium chloride. This one's fun. This has a lot of uh, scientific stuff in here. Ooh. <laughs> How do you make lithium chloride? You prepare ten ten m. I'm assuming milliliters. Lithium chloride, chloride dissolve forty two point four grams of LiCl lithium chloride. In a final volume of 90 milliliters of H2O water, adjust the volume of the solution to 100 milligrams of H2O. Sterilize the solution by passing it through 0.22 uh, UM filter or by uh, autoclaving for 15 minutes at 15 PSI on a liquid cycle. Um, also here, how dangerous is lithium chloride? Keep in mind, this is an, this is an ingestant in a medication, you ingest this. You put it in your belly. Uh, yeah, this is one of the chemicals in it. Uh, it says acute potential health effects. Skin causes skin irritation. Eye causes eye irritation. Inhaling ah. may cause respiratory tract infection. Uh, ingestion may be harmful if swallowed. All right. What? Yeah. <laughs> that this is this is straight lithium chloride. So I mean, there's a dissolvent in it, damn. and that that's what that dissolved formula that I was reading off earlier. I stored a solution at four degrees Celsius, so, for, so just above freezing. Um, and then here is the lithium. Here's the lithium uh, sulfate. There's also in it. Uh, lithium sulfate is a white, um, inorganic salt with the formula Li2SO4. It is the lithium salt of sulfuric acid. So keep in mind, there's lithium and then sulfuric acid. And so if you come, now if we jump forward to, I took this twice a day, never brushed my teeth as a kid. And I took this from probably six years old to maybe early teens, 13, 14, something like that. 
Jesus. Uh, so it was a good six years. Uh, and the, uh, I, just, I just looked it up. Lithium. Uh huh. Severe dental decay and changes in tooth structure have been reported. Yeah. No with, kidding. Yeah, that, dude. No kidding. That with that shit, dude. Oh my god. No wonder. And uh. I'm trying. I have too many tabs open, so I'm kind of like jumping around. So pretty much, the lithium bromide, lithium chloride, and lithium sulfate, which is lithium, it's just a, it's a uh, what is it, organic metal? Is that what that is? Pretty much. Yeah. Um, and then two parts salt. So it's metal and salt mixed into a scientific formula that pretty much uh, is supposed to treat your brain disorder. Uh, main hazards, by the way, are toxic. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, no, <why laughs> and, I, and I read somewhere, um, just one of the, oh, here it is. Um, on the people also ask part, it says, what is lithium citrate used for? Which obviously is used for bipolar disorder. Uh, and then here's the next one underneath. What is it used for is why was lithium citrate banned? This practice and sale of lithium itself were both banned in 1949 following publication reports that detailed side effects and deaths. What the? F- oh, come on, man. Like, <laughs> the, it, was banned, <laughs> it was banned in 1949 and I was taking it in 1999. <laughs> I was taking it 50 years why, why later. Why were they giving you that shit? I don't know, man. They said it was banned, and I don't know why I was taking it, but it, I was told. I do what I told, boss. I do what I told. <laughs> uh, are you sure the person who gave me this was uh, allowed to give this to you? <laughs> yeah. Well, he did have a bone through his nose and uh, like a big headdress, <laughs> you know, living living in a grass hut. So I mean, he he seemed legit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No, it was actually I think I think there's some kind of I had to do more research on it, but I think there's some kind of way around the what they're talking about and what was actually prescribed. I think there's a uh, yeah, probably. I, I think there's some kind of work around on that, but I don't there really, have to be. I don't want <laughs> it's it's said and done. I don't want to go over it. So long story short, for at least six years I was taking this metal and salt mixture to help with my bipolar disorder. Which pretty much says it'll mess up your teeth. Like okay, so now that if was you for six straight years, yeah, doing that shit. twice Daily. a day, twice a day. Oof. So oh. then, you, then you come over here to teeth enamel, and it says teeth teeth enamel is a thin outer covering of the tooth. Uh, it's a tough shell. Um, it's hardest tissue in the human body. Enamel cover, covers the crown, which is uh, part of the tooth that is visible to the outside of the gums. Um, because the enamel is translucent, you can shine light through it. So that's what enamel is. It's the white stuff of your teeth. It makes your teeth all pretty, shiny teeth in me, you know? <laughs> gotcha. So, um, my te- the, enamel, the enamel would rot because of the acid and the metal and the salt inside this chemical compound that I was taking twice a day. And so it, and of course I didn't brush my teeth, so it, it, it didn't help in the process, you know? Yeah, no, not at all. Uh, which ate away the enamel, which caused black teeth. So when you Google, Black? oh, it's, it's the rot is what it is. Mm. Okay. So when you, when you look up what causes black teeth, um, the tooth may appear black when it is damaged from the inside. The most common culprits of black teeth are cause of teeth decay or cavities. For example, a pulp infection or a dead tooth, or dead tooth may turn the tooth black. The damage starts on the inside and works its way to the surface. So, like taking metal and salt might have something to do with it. Especially <laughs> when it was banned 50 years before I was taking it. Jesus. Just sitting, you're taking them. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Ooh. Uh, Did you start seeing black at any point? Anything? Um. Yeah. Um. Uh, I kind of like. I noticed like, oh. uh, like some like the side of my tooth would be like coming apart or something like that. Hmm. Um. 
I didn't actually see it until my teeth started breaking because they were so fragile. Ah, because there was no enamel left on them. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, <laughs> that was all gone. So, so yeah. Um, I don't think I lost my first tooth until like my first like rotten tooth. Not my baby. I lost my baby teeth before I was a teenager. But yeah. uh, but my uh, when I lost my first rotten tooth from all this crap, uh, I remember. I don't. I remember two distinct, distinctive ones they where they broke. I don't remember which one was first. They, do you remember those Jolly Rancher suckers? Like it, they're made by Jolly Rancher. They're big, square, and they they only had them in like strawberry and green apple. It's the only two flavors they had. I think I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. So I was eating one of those in school. Oh, don't tell! Oh my god. And it broke off on that. <laughs> <laughs> it was stuck in the fucking thing. No, I probably swallowed it. I don't. I don't know what happened. Oh. To it. So, oh damn! So that was the first big break of my teeth. Um, and then after that, uh, I was at a I was at a, a little restaurant eating a burger, and I bit into the burger. And when I when I came off the burger, I got you know how like when you lose a tooth, you're like your lip hits you, and like oh that feels weird. So mm-hmm. um, one of my teeth. One of my other teeth broke off in the burger, but I don't remember which one came first. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember if it was the school or the restaurant came first, but uh, those are the two big breaks of where my teeth were too fragile, and they broke. <laughs> Damn. Um. So now they now my teeth have been rotting for at least six years with this chemical that I'm, the salt and metal that I'm been taking prescribed. Uh, they've been rotting over time. And of course, I, I brush my teeth every once in a while, but not frequently like I should be doing. Yeah. Um, which caused a, which caused poison pretty much. And I had, um, at least three abscess in my mouth at different times. Um, oh. each one was, di- was different than the other one. One, I think one, I think formed and then just kind of went away. Didn't even, didn't even get phased by it. And then another one formed on, I think, the right side of my nostril. And because uh, I remember this one because I popped it, which you're not supposed to do. <laughs> if you ever have an no. abs, if you ever have an abs- abscess, never ever pop it. What happens if you pop it? Uh, it's full of pus and blood and. Uh, <laughs> Did you just sit of, there and like? <laughs> Well, it's a lot of it's a lot of stuff that it's a lot of toxins is what it is. It's like a pimple uh, yeah, no. inside your mouth. But it was it was like on it was like on my upper front tooth, like on the where the gum meets the lip, I guess, on the inside. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um but it it was like starting to swell like up into my nose. And so Ooh. so I I was looking in the mirror. I saw this like little bubble, and of course, like I'm, I'm the kind of po- person that pops pimples and picks scabs. I, like, I still do it to today. Yeah, same. And um, it's impossible not to. So, but all right, here's a pimple. So I stuck a needle in it, which, which again, if you ever have an abscess, never ever pop it. It's very dangerous. <laughs> um, so I had an abscess, and I popped it with a needle, and a little bit of it was mainly blood that came out. Um, so it started bleeding really bad, like uh, like when you hit like a nerve on your finger or something like that, and it bleeds forever. So it's, that started happening, but I started feeling like the pressure release in my in my face, like underneath my eye, beside my nose. So I mm-hmm. gra- so I grabbed like two fingers above below my eye, above my nose, and I started dragging it down because it was kind of swollen. It was a little bit swollen at the time, Not, nothing too bad. But uh, I started doing that, and then I'm just pulling like this blood out of my mouth and I'm, of course, I'm spitting it out of course I'm not swallowing it I'm not oh no how did, how did the uh, original pop taste <laughs> uh, well it didn't actually like pop pop it was like I stuck a needle in it and started bleeding I so it wasn't like it wasn't like a pimple pop at all yeah no <laughs> nothing Ooh. like that Um, but here's the definition of uh, abscessed a gum abscess occurs when bacteria in the mouth causes an infection in the space between the teeth and the gums. Some gum abscess result in uh, pre- periodontitis, which causes poor oral hygiene, which 
Which of course, like my mouth is rotting from this fucking uh, this fucking medication. Literally rotting. So Yeah, no. So I had this abscess, I popped it, I got it all out, it went away, it was fine, it healed up, I didn't die. I don't even remember I don't even think I got sick from it. Really? Yeah, I don't um okay, that's it, pretty it was just, nice. Yeah, was, I was like this whole story is like I'm actually extremely lucky to be alive. Like with all the shit <laughs> through that's a story. Oh definitely. Because, well, they, as you saw from lithium citrate was banned because it causes death. They, <laughs> they, I had a, I had multiple, um, abscessed. They, if which is poison in your mouth, which if you pop it and you swallow it, you could die. So uh, how do you, so, did you look it up and figure out it was abscessed, or how did you figure it out? It was no, abscessed? I, I, I knew, I knew what an abscess was. He said, but, "He said, fuck it, I'm still popping it.' Fuck it, yeah, dude. I mean, <laughs> I mean, when your face is bulging out of your face, I mean, it kind of sucks. Yeah, no. Well, what would the dentist even do about that? Just pop it for you and suck it up. Uh, right? yeah, I think they have like a procedure that they, they'd probably they more likely should chill with like a steroid antibiotic kind of thing, other than gotcha, pop it. Yeah. I, if it was bad enough or in a good enough spot, they could probably just pop it and suck it up. But I never did. I popped it and spit <laughs> it out." <laughs> You know, <laughs> a little oh. bit different, a lot cheaper. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. But um, basically free. Exactly, it was. <laughs> um, and so, at this point, like, um, the damage is already done. Like, um, I'm pr- I'm in my early twenties now, late teens, early twenties. Um, yeah, sure. And like, I already, we, I've already got one kid, and. Um, just my teeth just continue to rot because long, um, six years of this just, just has long term effects, you know. Yeah, no. Uh, so they're just yeah. slow. They're slowly rotting, and it got to the point that they are so bad of rot that there was no point in even attempting to. You couldn't fix it, so I just still continued to never brush my teeth. <laughs> I mean, I mean, damage is done. I mean, what am I gonna do? Yeah, like, no. you, you can't fix enamel. Whew. So, so did you end up getting pulled out? Come eventually, I'll I'll get to that part of the story here in a little bit. But there's gotcha. there's still a lot more danger to come. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. So, um, throughout throughout my twenties, just twelve years ago. No oh, shit, fourteen years ago when I was twenty. Holy hell, I was twenty fourteen years ago. Jesus. Uh. So throughout my twenties, I get these massive, massive headaches, like in my temple. Um, they weren't they weren't anywhere else. They weren't like back of the head, front of the head, eye or anything. It was just in my temple. And you know those like liquid Tylenol bottles that are it says like two times the strength. It was like five dollars for a bottle of it. I think uh, you get it at Walmart yeah. and yeah. over the counter stuff. Oh um, yeah, I was I was drinking two of those a day. Like, like the that, whole bottle? The whole bottle. Like I, Jesus. I stopped using the little cup that came with it. And I was just kind of drinking out of the bottle, like taking a swig like every couple of hours. <laughs> God damn. What's the side effect for drinking that shit all day? Death. Overdose. <laughs> <laughs> just stop here and there. <laughs> yeah. No biggie. Yeah. So That's one of those good. one of those bottles was supposed to last you like a month. And I was drinking two of them a day. Because the pain was so bad from this headache, uh, and it was only on one side, so, um, so I, it it gradually just got worse and worse and worse. And when it first started, I'm like, all right, it's just a headache, not a big deal. Um, and then it kind of got to the point where, um, if I chewed gum, it would kind of like help it a little bit. And then it got to the point where that didn't help anymore. So I had to find other means by buying a bottle of Tylenol. And I had to buy two bottles of Tylenol. So what so, what'd you end up doing after Tylenol? Uh, complain, bitching and complaining is what I ended up doing. <laughs> to the doctor? Uh, to, no, I never went to the doctor. Oh, really? seriously? Yeah. Well, I Why? Mean, uh, I didn't have insurance. So, oh, shit. So, I mean, That'll do you. No, the only thing I, only thing I could do, because I, since I didn't have insurance, I couldn't go to the doctor. The only thing I could do was go to the emergency room. All they give you is a all they give you is a Vicodin and tell you to go home. 
They give you a Vicodin and say, oh, sorry, this is in our department. Go to a dentist. Sorry, don't have insurance. I'll be back tomorrow for another Vicodin. Or they just start giving you ice. Uh, no, that wouldn't do anything either. <laughs> oh, shit. Seriously? Yeah, so so my, my mouth is like 80%. It's 90% rot and probably like 70% black. There's a few like white spots here and there like where some enamel is still left. Um, both my canines are gone. Like the, they're broken in half. Um, oh. my two front teeth, um, I think one was broken in half. Um, and then I think half a molar was gone, something like that. So that, that's when they just decayed. They just decayed and broke. Um, and then the rest of it was just rotted and decayed. Uh, so now, now we get to the fun part. So I'm, I've had these headaches for like, three years i'm mid 20s probably 23 24 like they're so bad they i'm pacing back and forth or i'm um stomping on the ground because just just agony i'm in pain all the time uh in my temple is there time where it just wouldn't hurt at no there, or never the whole all 24 7 it hurt I, it was a, a temple headache. <laughs> you know, it it didn't hurt like it didn't hurt like getting hit with something. Like it wasn't like a uh, like a physical pain. It was a headache. <laughs> you know. Yeah. No, those are horrible. Yeah. Just that one spot. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. And then like you try putting pressure on it, and it kind of relieves it a little bit, and but not really. Still there. Like I was in agony. And, uh, so I actually have photos of this coming up. Uh, I'll show you here in a little bit, but, um, okay. so, um, I woke up one morning and I noticed my mouth feels a little weird. Like it doesn't feel, doesn't feel like my normal mouth. Okay. So I go look in the mirror. It's a little bit swollen. I'm like, all right, not a big deal. You know, it's probably just another abscess. I'll look around for, I'll look around for the hole and pop it again. You know, I've, Popped a couple of them before. So it's probably just another abscess. Like, I I got, I don't have to look for a problem. I know the problem. My, my mouth is rotting apart. It's so, I, you know, I already know what it is. Um, But I'm in so much pain still that I don't care what the problem is. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so I uh, know what you mean. Yeah, it's a, like, I, I was, there's a lot of times I was in so much pain, I didn't care about anything. I didn't care how fast I drove. I didn't care... Um, how much pain something else is in if I smash a finger in the door or something I didn't care because I was already in so much agony from my headache yeah no and um, so I'm like alright well this is like 5 or 6 a.m. because I can't sleep obviously oh Um. so I'm like alright my mouth feels a little bit weird it's a little bit swollen not a big deal I, I'm just gonna call it 5 a.m. for the time for the time stamps uh, I don't I don't know if that was, that was the exact time or not so, um, 5 a.m., like, okay, I go, to the, I go to the hospital. No, the, let's take it back. So, the night before, it was a little bit swollen. Um, so, I go to the hospital. They gave me a Viagra or, or Vicodin, whatever, whatever, some painkiller. They, then they give me a, um, no, this is later on. So, they give, they give me a painkiller. They send me home, tell me to go to a dentist. Of course, same thing that they, they always say. So, I'm like, all right, I'll go, I'll play by your rules. And I don't go to a dentist because I don't have insurance. Yeah, no. Um, so I go home. And um, the next morning I wake up, five, I'm going to say 5 o'clock in the morning, just in agony again. My face is, is a little bit more swollen, about the same, maybe a little bit more. So the steroid shot that they gave me in my butt, that hurt really bad, D- didn't really do anything. So, oh, shit. It wasn't worth it, huh? The butt pain? Yeah, no. But I, I honestly, it, it really it was more of a burn than a pain. Oh. Uh, uh, so, like, because it's, uh, whatever, whatever they use in steroids, it was, like, rushing through my veins and body and everything. So, like, the area, like, burned, you know? Gotcha, yeah. So, we'll say this is, we'll say this is 5 a.m. Like I said, I don't remember the time, so I just, I'm just using the 5 a.m. for a time stamp. Ah, uh, yeah. So, all right, now 6 a.m. rolls around, but an hour later, my mouth is starting to feel really swollen. Um, 
So I call my mom and hey, I gotta go back up to the hospital. My mouth is swollen. Um, we meet me up there, whatever. Um, so I go up there and uh, they give me another shot and they tell me my mouth is swollen. While I'm I'm waiting in the uh, ER waiting room for like over an hour. So another hour goes by and now my mouth is really swollen. Getting bigger and bigger by the hour. Um, <clears throat> so about six hours after going to the doctor and everything, like my mouth is swollen. Like it's my jaws inflamed. My cheek is inflamed. My back jaws inflamed. Um, it's you'll you'll see it in the pictures. I'll, I'll show you here in a few minutes. Uh, like it was it was bad. Like it was big and bad. Um, and so from the hospital, they're like. You guys, you have to go to an oral surgeon. Like the dentist is out of the question. Now you have to go to a, a surgeon. So we went yeah, to, no. yeah. So uh, keep in mind, I've had a, I've had a headache for about three years now, straight. So we go to one oral surgeon, and he looks at it, and he says, um, you "Need to get these pulled. You need to get your teeth pulled, all of them, because it's rotting your mouth." Um, I'm not going to. Regretfully, I won't do it because it's too dangerous to have, for me to pull them. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna risk lose like you losing your life because it's so dangerous. Like I'm not gonna do it. Sorry. So uh, <laughs> that yeah, that's how bad it was. God damn. So then I go to we go to I, I don't I don't I'm we went to another surgeon. I don't remember if it was the next one or if we went to a couple of them. But we went to another guy, and he says, "says uh, yeah, the you need to get these out like right now." Um. So, uh, he's he said that he'll do it. Like, we had to, I think we had to sign like liability waiver if something happened ah. while he was doing it. But he said he'll do it. So, um, we went we went there and had him look at everything. And then the next day was a scheduled emergency surgery with, with an oral surgeon to have my teeth removed the next the next morning. Oh, okay, uh, we went. Th- we were there like at four or five at night. Well, keep in mind my teeth have been rotting since I was twelve or ten. And yeah, no. Now, now I'm like twenty five, so this has been going on for fifteen years. Just rotting. Yeah, and I've had a headache for at least three or four. Oh my god. So you said you went there at like four in the morning to get your teeth. No, in? no, this this is like mid afternoon when we went to the oral oh, surgeon. Okay. The the early morning was the hospital, the ER. Uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, so we went to the oral surgeon mid afternoon, and then we had it scheduled for the next day. It was it was like six or seven grand. They, oh, they I was about to really ask how much they yoinked off you because <laughs> that shit is not cheap. Yeah. Um, Holy shit! I remember I remember my grandma paid for half, and my mom paid for the other half, and it was like. It was like six grand up front with a liability waiver. Oh my god. You Oof. So um so next morning we go in there, get every they put me under uh with the with that white chemical they, they hooked up like IVs, they put me under anesthesia and you know how you can you can see the white anesthesia stuff. I watched it go into the vein or go through the tube into my arm. And I got this like weird metallic taste, and I was out. I woke up like all drug, groggy and everything. Um, my girlfriend at the time, the she saw she almost passed out because when when I came to, I did something and it was like a big pile of blood came out of my mouth. Oh, I guess from from it bleeding and everything, just it was just collected. Um, but I don't even hardly remember. Yeah, you could remember that shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! My, but how did it feel? Uh, like, uh, it shouldn't. It, I mean, of course, my mouth hurt like a motherfucker. Oh, but yeah, no. the sec the second I woke up from anesthesia, I have not had a headache since. Oh! So, and I was so Dang. relieved. I didn't care what my mouth looked like, just because I was in so much agony from this four year long headache. It was ridiculous. I have this headache. Yeah. No. Like um, you ever, have you ever put like a um, what is like the paperclip thing like on your finger? Not a paperclip, but the uh, it's a yeah, black thing yeah. with the springs, and you put it like on your finger, and it's like starts to hurt a little bit after a while. Yeah, I know. Ima- 
imagine not being able to remove that for four years. And it's just a yeah. pain. Just like It doesn't hurt. It's just an agonizing pain forever. I know. So imagine having yeah, that right. on. Have, imagine having that on your head, or like on the top of your ear or something for four years. Like it sucked so much. But uh, so they cut. They what they did is that they cut my my top and bottom gums like a hot dog, like down the middle, like a hot dog bun. Um, <laughs> they they cut between it. They ripped my teeth out of the bone. Oh, um, because you're. I mean, you have a jawbone, and that's where your teeth yeah, come no. on it. So they uh, they cut that up and they they loop sewed all the way around my mouth the top gums and the bottom gums so they so it wasn't like a single stitch all the way across it was a continuous loop stitch from the back of my mouth all the way to the other side of my mouth through my gums and um because i mean they they cut they cut my mouth open literally yeah yeah. and of course i smoke so like i was at a high risk of dry sockets i don't think i ever got one but I was at a high risk for him. Um, so my girlfriend that never smoked would always light my cigarettes for me. And then I would kind of like take half puffs on it. So the, the dry sockets, how bad would that fucking be to get? I don't remember the exact thing. Do you, do you know? What do you mean? Dry socket. What exactly do, does that do? If you got one? All right. Well, here's the definition of dry socket. Dry socket is a painful dental condition that sometimes happens after you have a permanent adult tooth extracted. Dry socket is when the blood clot is when the blood clot at the site of the tooth extraction falls to falls to de- fails to develop. It dislodges no, or dissolves before the wound is healed. So, um, yeah, how long does it last? Uh, typically lasts about seven days. Pain can be notable. Uh, as early as three days after extraction, after tooth extraction, the blood clot usually forms and, um, inside the heels to protect it. So pretty, it's pretty much like when there's a hole and then, I don't know how to explain it. I just got the definition. But I never got one. I had some pretty yeah. massive holes. Yeah. So, um, so that's how... I lost all my teeth. Like that's that's how that's from the beginning of when I started taking this medication, um, the rot right of my mouth to when I got my teeth extracted. So <sighs> about a month after that, like uh, the package that we bought with the extraction, um, set me up for a set of dentures and a temporary set. Um, but after a major surgery, getting thirty-two teeth removed. That's why, uh, which is funny because when when people go and get um, their wisdom teeth removed and they put up such a fuss and such a complaint and they're out for like oh, two days and they're so miserable having like one removed. They go, ha ha, pussy. <laughs> I had 32 removed and four um, impacted wisdom teeth done at the same time. Suck it up with your one tooth. <laughs> you know, like, I, I just think it's funny. That is pretty funny. I, I had my wisdom teeth removed. It didn't even hurt at all, to be honest. But, the only time I've had extreme pain is whenever I got my teeth knocked down and pushed back up. Couldn't even open my mouth. It was that painful. It was just and not want to talk. I had 32 teeth removed at once. Yeah, no. Can uh, you even open your mouth? It's yeah. Severe. Yeah, I could open it. Okay. Um, that's it. And I believe that's one of the big things of why I got so fat so quickly afterwards. Um, I'll Let me continue with the teeth real quick. So... Um, so about a month, a couple of weeks, maybe a month, I think it was a couple of weeks after the initial 32 teeth removal. Um, I had to, I getting like some sharp pains in my gums, like hitting my lips and all that stuff. So I went back to the oral surgeon. Um, oh, before this, like, um, while, while they extracted or after they extracted my teeth and all that, they, this is, this is just stories. Cause I don't remember, I don't remember leaving the hospital or the oral surgeon's office or anything. I don't remember any of that. I was still kind of like on anesthesia still, but uh, from what my mom tells me and what my ex used to tell me is they, um, the doctor said that there was so much poison in my mouth, uh, from all these rotted teeth that I was lucky to be alive. Because there was, it was just my mouth was full of poison. 
uh, which is why I was getting the headaches because the poison formed a like a tunnel or a tube, whatever, um, up the side of my head into my brain and was literally poisoning my brain. And that's why I was having much time. Yeah, that's why I was having the headaches. Jeez. Because my body was telling my body was getting poisoned, literally, and my brain was saying, fix this. <laughs> you know? Right now. Yeah. And, and if you don't, you're gonna have a headache for two years. <laughs> and uh, uh, my aunt, they had a friend that had uh an abscess or a headache like that or something like that. Um they he actually was perfectly fine. Talking to his parents, went to bed, died that night from same same thing, died from it. Seriously? Uh, so I was lucky to be alive for taking medication that for taking medication that was banned, uh, having multiple abscess that could have killed me, having a ton of poison on my mouth that could have killed me. Uh, so I'm I'm here for a purpose, I assume. I don't I don't know. <laughs> I mean, if, if I, yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm here to make a podcast. That, that was my, that's my only, that's my only, uh, reason here is to make a podcast. Um, Dude. so, so now all that's done, I go back a couple of weeks later and they had to put me asleep again because, um, when they took the initial out and my mouth started healing and shrinking because I mean, there's nothing to hold my teeth there anymore. So my, so my jaw and everything started shrinking. Um, they had to put me back under it. Open me back up, grind down like the bits of like the shard bone, I guess, from when they ripped everything out. That's that's all was poking through was little pieces of bone. Um, so they they grind those down to like normal, I guess, and showed me up again, sent me home. Uh, and then I haven't had a headache since, and I haven't had a toothache since, or any problem with my mouth since. <laughs> you ain't gonna have a toothache for a while. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no <that>. shit. <laughs> I save a ton of money on dental insurance. I'll tell you that. Oh shit! I didn't even think about that. Actually, yeah, <laughs> that's actually um, pretty good. I guess. Yeah, in a, in a sense. Um, but so I'm so I was supposed to give like a uh, six month healing period before I even attempted to go get um, my dentist sized, uh, which I was impatient, so I didn't. So I waited like maybe a month and a half after after both surgeries. Um. Because I was just, I'm like, all right, let's go do this. And so now my, my dentures don't fit because I didn't wait the correct time to get new ones or to get them done. So I, I never wear them. But over time, my gums have become strong enough from eating without teeth that I can eat the same thing anybody else can um, with, with teeth. Like I can eat steak. Only thing I can't eat is like hard stuff like peanuts or... That's pretty much it, is peanuts. Um, so can you just get resized now? For new I dentures? could, but I have to buy new. I have to buy new dentures because they, they, they I like a thousand dollars. It's not too. Bad. Yeah, but bucks, but I'm. I mean, I'm at the point now. Like I've never worn my teeth. Like I, I think I wore them like twice. Um, but I'd never wear them and cause I'm so used to eating without them and I can eat, like, there's really no purpose other than looks. I don't give a fuck what I look like, uh, you know? So, <laughs> cause. So you said that was in the original 6,000 that you had to pay, right? Uh, I think so. Um, it came with a temporary set, which was just like a, like a fake tooth kind of thing. And then the actual denture set. Okay. It might have been more than six thousand. It might have been ten thousand. I don't remember. Holy shit! But I, I know. I just know my mom paid for half. My grandma paid for the other half. It was definitely worth it, though. Yeah. Paying that much to all of that. Well, I mean, I mean, yeah, I escaped death multiple times. <laughs> How um, did you not die? I don't I know. Holy shit! I have no idea. Couldn't tell you. But so now that all that's done, and like I, I try, I tried eating with my dentures, but I, I mean, I. I just can't. Like I'm, it's, it's super uncomfortable. They don't, yeah, they don't fit right. That feels weird. I don't have the patience to get used to them, so I'm like, fuck it, you know. So I just do everything without them. But the whole time, the whole healing process, like I couldn't eat. I obviously couldn't eat anything because I just had my mouth ripped open. Uh, yeah. So I couldn't eat. I couldn't bite into anything. A bread, burger, 
um, steak. I couldn't eat anything because it was just so sensitive. So the only thing I'd eat is mashed potatoes. Like those instant mashed potatoes are like a dollar. You put water, you put them in water and mix it together. Gotcha, I know what you mean. Yeah. Um, so I'd probably eat like three or four of those a day because that was my only food source, that and liquids. Um, Did you mix any... Make sure you what? Those kale drinks that are fucking healthy. You never made one of those, did you? Well, like I, I drink like Pedialyte and like I drink healthy drinks along with it. But I mean, the actual solid food state, I couldn't eat anything. It was just so sore. Yeah. Um, so you're eating four on average four bags of mashed potatoes only for almost a month. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's yeah. a lot of carbs and a lot of starch, you know. And then after that, I had like really super buttery mac and cheese, super super buttery, just just so like I wouldn't have to chew it and just kind of swallow, you know. Gotcha. Um, and the, so I I mashed potatoes and mac and cheese for almost three months straight. That's all I had, and then of course like whatever liquids I wanted. Drinking yeah, drinking one, cheese. drinking one the problem it was yeah, uh, both I'd switch them out and all that. Um, but drinking one the problem it was the chewing part. So, uh, finally, I think, I think like the six week markers, like when my stitches finally, they, they were supposed to come out on their own, which they did. And I, one of them got to the point that it was, it wouldn't come because my gum started healing around it. So I just pulled it out. <laughs> but, uh, oh yeah, of course it did fucking hurt like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Like I couldn't do that. I just kind of sit there and be like, huh, I'll hope <laughs> this, I'll hope this works well. <laughs> uh, Ooh. Yeah. Uh, so I think that's why, like, I got so fat, uh, because of all that starch, you know. Yeah, no. But, definitely makes for three months straight, mind you. Yeah, exactly. Oh, um, God. So yeah, that's pretty much my teeth story. This is very interesting, actually. It oh, is, I... and so, like, I never did drugs. Like, people, people were like, oh, you must have done meth and all. I just, yeah, whatever, sure, why not? Cause, <laughs> I, I, you, I mean, you've you've known me long enough that I don't give a fuck what people think. Dude, you are yeah. fucking super lucky, actually. Like, on God, like. Yeah, no shit. Well, I've escaped death a few times, oddly enough. That uh, because uh, this is completely off subject, but um, when I was homeless and I was on I don't know, sixteen, seventeen, something like that, um, I was riding with my friend to the pawn shop, and um, as we were crossing, uh, we left the pawn shop. And then we were headed back across, like, uh, an intersection. Our light was green. And then there was a, a girl that wasn't paying attention. She reached down in her seat to grab a CD or something. Um, if you're old enough to remember what those are. She, re- yeah, she, reached down her, she reached down in her seat to grab a CD, ran the red light, smashed into us on my side. I was in the passenger side. She hit us on my side, like, just below my feet, like, on our cars or on the, like, front wheel base. Uh, totaled both cars, ripped the front end off of our car, ripped the front end off of her car, spun us completely. We were going, uh, we were going northbound, and she was going westbound, and so she hit us so hard that she, th- we spun all the way around, um, in the turn lane going southbound, on oh. the other side of the road, and total totaled both cars. The airbags went off. We walked away without a scratch. Like we, oh, seriously? Well, the only thing we had on us was the airbag dust. <laughs> so, but no, wait, but a, she hit, her. You know, she went to the hospital. She stayed in her car, went to the hospital. Um, but she hit us at fifty miles an hour, on like next to my knee, at oh fifty God. miles an hour, ripping off the front of our car, and we spun around did the whole flippy flippity flop thing and walked away without a scratch. Well, the, the angel only, watching you. Yeah, the, apparently, I, I, like I said, I'm, I'm here for a purpose. I just got to figure out what that purpose is now. Oh, dude. So, but while I still have you on here, I'm gonna screen share. I think there's like five photos, so it's a five hour time lapse. Okay. So dude, see, you can see. It's a little bit nurse. swollen. Oh my god. There's that. A little bit more swollen. Really swollen. This, this Dude, look is, at your lips. I know this is like a six-hour time lapse. Holy shit! And I think that, yeah, we're at the hospital now. See how big that is? Oh my! Yeah, it's a ramp. Yeah. So the nurse. Oh. That. Damn. 
That's how bad they were. Dude, that would suck. Look how the, the camera quality. That's how long ago this was. <laughs> Dude, that but one? Then that, this is after they got removed. So this is all sewn up now. It just looks fucking Painful. horrible. So, oh and God. then here's the actual teeth. Do you still have any weird feelings in your mouth now, or is it all uh, kind of feeling good? No, I mean, it feels completely normal. Care. The the it's only pro the only problems I have is the like I in mouth connecting words like um like my if I say Z like I have to say Z so people know what I'm talking about because I can't say Z or S's and all that but I learned to chew with my tongue other than my gums because my gums don't connect like teeth would they don't con they don't connect at all so when I chew I chew with my tongue in the roof of my mouth. Okay. That's just how I. That's just how I learned to do it. Um, so yeah, that's that's the story. I mean, so like it wasn't from drugs; it was literally from a medication. Yeah. So, <laughs> Spoken use two times a day. Yeah. And it's two months of that shit. Yep. Pretty much. It was yeah, not fun. Now, like, like I said, the. I once the once the pain was gone, they they removed the teeth and the pain was gone. I didn't care what I looked like just because, like I I had like rotten teeth throughout all through high school and everything. So I mean, you can imagine like people making fun of it. It's like, oh, you have no teeth, crackhead, blah blah blah, meth mouth, blah blah. Like I've heard it all. Like it doesn't faze me. I don't care. The headache's gone. I don't care what I look like. I got fat from the from the food I had to eat afterwards, and then I don't wear my teeth now because I was impatient getting them done originally. Now they don't fit. So, pretty simple. Uh, yeah. But, um, I could probably take you down in a steak eating contest. Like, let's be honest. <laughs> oh, I, no, no, no. I'm uh, fat. You can't. You can't yeah, you can't I, bet I, I bet I could eat a steak faster than you could without my teeth. <laughs> to, probably, to be honest. I have more uh, experience with uh, one, one of the positive things I have learned is that um, when you bite into a... This is, this is one thing I'm actually really happy about. When you bite into a steak with teeth... You taste the flavor of it, but you don't get the real flavor because when you bite into it, you have to go through all the enamel and plaque and tartar on your teeth before it hits your tongue before you taste mm. it, if that makes sense. But for me, yeah. I bite into it with my gums, and it instantly gets all the flavor in me. <laughs> like I, I instantly get flavor. I don't have to, like, I don't get that half millisecond, you know? Yeah, no. Oh, imagine getting a well-done steak. <laughs> I like my steaks oh, well done. Or medium well. Really? Like, I like a medium well. No pink. No pink? Damn. No pink. Pink's the good stuff. Nope. I've had food poisoning yeah. one too many times to want pink. That's the end of the podcast. We're, we're coming up just on that hour. Uh, we have opened up oh. a website and a few gaming servers. If you want to check us out at www.is3gaming.com. We have a... Um, Minecraft server, we have a 7 Days to Die server, we have a TeamSpeak, we have a Discord, um, we also have a GTA 5 MRP server, all of it is active and live, uh, everything's free to play, you don't have to buy anything, you don't have to make a subscription to join or anything, um, however, all the logins are on our website, and you can only see it if you sign up for our website. Uh, it's free to sign up, doesn't cost you anything, the, only, the most trouble you're going to have to do is telling it that you're not a robot, and you just click, I'm not a robot, submit. That's the hardest thing you got to do on it. <laughs> uh, Which ain't hard at all. <laughs> and again, that is is3gaming.com. So be sure to do that. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, is 3 Gaming or iScribble3 at YouTube. <laughs> um, that's pretty much it. Mason, you got any, got any plugs you want to throw out there? Oh, okay. oh that's just good. We're just out of time in case you had one. <laughs> <I am. laughs> all right. Well, we will see you on the next podcast.